how would you like to grow lemons this size right inside your house? It's really easy to do. We're going to show you in a minute. And how about these tangerines here? Okay, this particular, uh, we've already eaten about a dozen or two out of here, but there's uh, still about two or three dozen tangerines on here. Okay, and back over here, we've got more lemons. Okay, lemons are probably about the easiest thing to grow. They grow uh, with no trouble whatsoever. Uh, you could, I know that right now they're in a greenhouse, but uh, these can grow, be grown inside the house a little easier than a greenhouse, believe it or not, because you got a, a better temperature control in there than a fluctuating temperature inside a greenhouse. And we'll show you down here a little bit further. We've got different type of lemons growing. Hopefully you chose to buy the plant from Angus Farm, and we're going to show you how uh, to trim them and prune them so you can keep them nice and healthy. Okay, the first thing you gotta keep in mind that every time you trim a plant, okay, you encourage growth in another place. So we definitely don't want branches down here, so these are easy to come off. You can just pinch them off by hand. Okay, you wanna take anything that's down here, you got it's gotta come off. Okay, we don't want this plant to be growing down here. So we're gonna trim this guy off of here and that guy off of there. We're gonna take that leaf there off, this one out of here. Okay, pull this guy out of here. Pull that guy out of here. Okay, now I don't like this branch here, so we're gonna snip this guy right out of here. Okay, we'll take that out of there. So now we're gonna end up with a plant that's gonna grow here and grow up here. Okay, it's gonna be uh, this, because we trimmed it in here, now all the energy is gonna go up in these leaves. And we're gonna show you a time-lapse photography here, how, how this plant will look in about six months from now. Six months from now, that plant looks something like this, okay? Now, we're going to also talk about spraying these plants because they do, uh, like anything else, will, uh, will attract bugs. And if you don't want to use spray, just use a damp cloth with a bit of uh, dish soap and just wipe the leaves off. And you've got to be careful not to break them off, obviously. And usually the bugs will be underneath the leaf. Okay, let's get one here. This one doesn't have any bugs on or fortunately rather, but you would clean it, they usually divide, they come in here eh, at the bottom and they, they suck the juice out of the leaf. So you want to make sure that that's all cleared up. Okay, and if you want to spray the tree, or here's a little something here. Yeah, we can just take that off of there and it's gone. Okay, um, you don't want to be spraying it with chemicals, so just use a little bit of dish soap, dilute it uh, very lightly and just spray them once in a while. And you'll never get rid of everything, that's the, the nature of the beast, but you will have control, and that's the main thing, okay? Now, as I mentioned before, don't try to grow this by seed. If you grow these things by seed, you're not going to get anything. Now, you can see right here, we're into the month of uh, early February, and uh, in fact, it's February the 4th, I believe, and uh, you can see it's starting to bloom, okay? And they bloom, the uh, citrus uh, plants take about eight months to grow fruit, contrary to the apples and stuff. These will bloom now. Um, apples and peaches and stuff, they'll bloom in April or May rather. Um, uh, but these guys bloom this time of the year and you pick the crop around late November, December. And that's it.